Now, it's called Free Winds, the luxury Church of Scientology cruise ship. But, but for former crew members, it was more like a ship of shame. Tonight, one Australian woman's frightening story about her life on board, including serious claims she was held against her will by the controversial church. The fact that it is a ship means they can use it as a prison. They say loose lips. Could you escape? No. Sink ships. I'm being held against my will. On Scientology's luxury liner, we're about to rock the boat. More survivor stories. I'm just not sure how much more I can take. Of starry nights. I like the moon. Blazing fights. Mind control and brainwashing. It's the best thing for you! I was suicidal. <laughs> what on earth's going on? When I end up slamming the door on his hand. And why you can't get off. Take me to a goddamn airport. Welcome aboard the SS Scientology, the Free Winds as she's known, a Caribbean cruise ship for the church's biggest believers, or so says the video of the Quick Cooks Tour. Every detail has been addressed in anticipation of the parishioners' every need. My mind shuts down when I watch it because I guess I just hit straight into the trauma. <laughs> Mental shutdown is all I can say. It's, it's traumatic. <coughs> Relaunched in 08 amid a multi-million dollar refit, it's been anything but smooth sailing for the free winds. First, there were claims the ship was sinking in asbestos, then accusations it was polluting Caribbean isles. But now come the most serious allegations of all. People have definitely been trapped on the ship against their will. Romana DNS Browning found herself on the free winds at just 15. She was baggage to her mother, one of the church's most devoted disciples. Now Scientology had Romana in its sights. The commanding officer of CMO cornered me in a room with two other people, screamed at me at the top of her lungs. You will do that! The layers of Scientology mind control is incredible. It is insidious. Um, and it is so cleverly put together that the members themselves that are perpetrating this mind control have no idea that that's what they're doing. And I'm not going to hear another word about it. So they pulled out a contract? Yeah. For? For a billion years. A billion years. <laughs> to join the SEAL, yeah. And you signed? I did. And you were in? Yes. Romana would spend the next eight years on the ship. She worked on board. She wed on board. She was 16. I absolutely didn't know what I was doing. An impressionable team, Romana quite literally had Scientology's stars in her eyes. Here's Tom Cruise as a Free Winds guest at his surprise birthday bash on the ship in 04. I think he's rather strange. Like a lot of Scientologists, I can see that total glaze cult personality through and through in that man. Thank you. <laughs> what went on behind the scenes? Behind the scenes, it's basically uh, a high-pressured business. Verbal abuse, emotional abuse, and if you're not cutting the line, Care you basically get punished. I want you to clean the ship! What was punishment on board the ship? Um, being sent to the bilges. <laughs> So I felt completely trapped, completely insane, and I just wanted it to end. I felt like I had no way out other than to end my life. How close did you get? Having the knife on my wrist and considering whether to do it or not. What stopped you? What stopped me was thinking about my family. Did you have any idea what was going no. on on this ship? No. Dear Dad, hi. How are you? What was their view of your father? Um, that he was trouble. He was trouble. I was under constant pressure to disconnect from him. I'll be sending more photos soon of my life here. My dad and I are really, really close. Really close. And it was, it was like cutting a piece of, you know, my soul out of me. <laughs> it was so awful. I love you heaps. Much love, Romana. It was dad, I want to leave, I want to jump ship. And I said, you effing do it, you do it. Romana's dad, David. <laughs> I said, just do it, do whatever you can to get off that damn ship, I'll get you home. You can't just jump off into the water. You've got to go through the gangway and there's a big bulky 
martial arts trained security guard at the gangway and if he says sorry you're not allowed off it's pretty daunting it's pretty intimidating is it a prison it was a prison for me <laughs> and it has been used as a prison for other people Last year, the ABC's Late Line program spoke to Valeska Paris, the wife of former St George League captain Chris Guider, whose Scientology wanted to separate from her family and friends. And I was sent to the ship for quote-unquote two weeks. And how long did that end up lasting? Twelve years. You turn your passport into the port captain who's the post on ship, he puts it in the safe, you don't have access to it. From Australia to America, the same story is now being repeated time and again. So even if you hop the ship in port, you can't get out of the country with that passport. I took a dowel, like a clothes hanger rod. I put the screws in there in between the PVC pipe so that it will roll, but it's not going to roll into my hands. Put it over like this, hooked it with my arm, dropped it down, and then went on down the line. Don Jason made a dramatic escape, abseiling down the anchor line to a waiting taxi on the wharf. I eventually just turn to the cab driver and I tell the guy, I says, you know, I'm being held against my will. Take me to a goddamn airport. From those who managed to escape to tell the tale, it is like a modern day slave ship. Senator Why Nick Xenophon's been leading the Australian charge for a full investigation into Scientology's ways. Any country that gives a damn about their citizens needs to take action to ensure that these people that have been imprisoned are freed and those that have been imprisoned who've suffered uh, are compensated. I've been on the free winds and I personally know that it's total and absolute fabrication and lies. Late today, Scientology's Virginia Stewart agreed to speak to a current affair, blasting the free winds allegations as a coordinated smear campaign from a rebel splinter group of former Scientology followers. They've actually got to together and worked out their stories. So it's not like a group of people who've, who are saying these things. They're, they've worked out these stories. They have exactly the same lines, but unfortunately, it's just not true. It ain't no love boat. No, no. No, it's more like Hotel California. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. <laughs> I want them to stand up and say, yes, these things did happen. The church just can't keep lying about the truth. Yeah, they don't look like they're lying to me either, do they? Now, you can read the full statement from the Church of Scientology on our website.